Hi guys, it's Joe with Slices Concession. Today we're going to take a look at the C713 made by Taylor. We're going to talk about the lockout procedure and how to get past the lockout procedure. Uh, what happens with this machine is it records the amount of time between brush cleanings and if the product or mix goes above 40 degrees in the hopper for any extended period of time, it's going to require a brush cleaning. I'm going to show you how to do the reset on the cleaning section of this machine. So as you can see when the machine is turned off you'll see a five minute timer and on this timer we want to make sure that the well, what this is looking for is that the hopper both hoppers and both barrels are above 60 degrees for five minutes with the faceplate off and the mix has to be empty so let's go ahead and take the faceplate off and start the countdown. So what this is designed to do is to allow you a chance to pull the parts apart Put them in the sink, uh, wash the machine out, completely sanitize it, and reassemble the machine. The lockout will reset as soon as this counter gets down to zero. For an added pro tip for this machine, if the hoppers and the barrels are not above 60 degrees, even with everything apart and you washing down the machine, the timer will not start ticking down. So the trick for that is to use hot water or warm water. You don't want the water to be boiling hot, but you want it to be warm enough they can get these sensors to rise up above 60 degrees throughout the five minute process. If for some reason those numbers fall, the temperatures fall again below 60 degrees, uh, during that five minute counter, even if you're down to one minute, it's gonna reset completely to five minutes and we're gonna have to start all over. So that's just something to keep in Okay, so now with these parts fully uh, cleaned, sanitized, and ready to be put back together, we're gonna start putting the machine back together and reassembling it. What I usually like to do is start with the rear drive shafts. Put a little bit of lube around the inside of this. We need to make sure that we keep lube off of this rear uh, coupling section because this is going to um, go into the rear coupling. And we don't want to create any kind of a suction um, or create any kind of a slippage in the rear. Do the same thing with the other side. cleaned and sanitized augers back in. And while we're putting these back in, we're checking for resistance to make sure that they slide with a little bit of resistance because if they slide too easily, that would be a, a clear sign of worn blades. Blades would need to be replaced. Now I'll put our base plate back together. pre-lubed all these parts just to make this process a little bit easier and faster. We're paying attention to keeping this auger or this uh, plunger in the middle and that'll stop mix getting from one side of the machine to the other. At Slice's Concession, we have many of these beautiful C713s. Um, all of them, we can show you how to use the lockout procedure or how to get past it in person if you need to. Um, these machines are fantastic for our high volume store. Uh, for this machine and many more, visit us at slicesconcession.com.